everybody, it's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About. Today we got a bit of an April Fool's special where we're dedicating this episode to a deep ocean beast. The one and only Big Thin Squid. If you're new to the channel, I do a series called All About that teaches everyone how to take care of fish, corals, and inverts in the saltwater aquariums based on facts, research, and my personal experience with them. But since it's April Fool's, we're going to add a bit of a twist on today's episode. Now, as we commonly hear, only 5% of the ocean has actually been explored. A big reason for this is because of the very high pressures, total darkness, and extreme temperatures, and a risk of toxic chemicals that lay deep down below. Which is why creatures like the big fin squid have been sighted and recorded so little. Only about 20 recordings have been made of this massive squid. Discovered in 1907 from the genus Magnapina, meaning great fin in Latin, these squids can reach lengths of 25 feet long and other estimates even hitting 40 feet. Typical height of a giraffe is about 18 feet tall, so can you imagine seeing something double that while underwater? I mean, that is nightmare fuel right there. They can live in depths of more than 20,000 feet deep. To put that in perspective, the Empire State Building is 1,500 feet tall, and we're talking 20,000. The Titanic is sunk around 12,000 feet deep. So that's just insane to put in perspective of how deep these creatures are actually down in the ocean. A typical squid is going to have eight arms and two tentacles. With the big fin, you're going to see all ten hanging deep below their body. Scientists have speculated that they use their tentacles almost like a spider web to trap prey as they swim along. Their tentacles have these microscopic suckers on them that we believe they're going to use to catch anything that runs into them as they drag those tentacles along the ocean floor. Scientists also believe that they have an elbow-like appendage on their arms that keep the long tentacles from tangling within each other. The first underwater recording was done by a remotely operated vehicle named Nautil in the late 1980s off the coast of northern Brazil. Since then, the big fin has been discovered in the Pacific, Atlantic, and Indian Oceans. Some of the most viewed footage is from a 2007 recording on a drilling site off the coast of Houston, Texas. Seeing videos like this makes us wonder, are they dangerous? They look so alien-like. We honestly are not sure. Scientists have tested the temperaments of these squid by using the ROV to drive through their tentacles to see if they'd get a reaction out of the sea creature. But after enough tries, the squid still made no reaction as if nothing was bothering it. Some of the most recent footage that came out in March of 2023 shows the big fin squid thrashing around wildly. You see the tentacles going in all directions as if it's trying to get away from something. It's mind-boggling to see a creature so big move so quickly. Scientists have speculated that the squid was either defending itself from a predator or it was actually attacking a prey with these wild movements to try to catch it within its tentacles. Now, since this is an all about episode, you know that we like to hit all the facts so that you can keep this beast in an aquarium. So it'll be a lot of fun. Of course, it's not true, but just to give you an idea of what it would take to take care of one of these. So how much would a big fan squid cost you? A typical ROV voyage costs a great deal of money to perform successfully. The list would include the ROV itself, the boat that has to take it out into the ocean, an ROV pilot, plus the voyagers that are going to map out where it needs to go and countless other things. Just for a sight of the big fin, it costs in ranges of $600,000 to upwards of $4 million. And that's just to capture the footage that you're seeing. So can you imagine how much it would cost to actually catch one? Now, what would be the tank size for something so big? One squid recorded being 13 feet in width and 25 feet long. So doing the math on a tank just to fit that size, it would require one that had 26,000 gallons of water or over 100,000 liters. It's insane. The tank inside Georgia's aquarium that houses the whale sharks has about 6.3 million gallons in it. So it would need something of that size. If you have not seen pictures of that tank, go Google it. It is incredible. Hair level would honestly be expert to impossible. We would not be able to replicate the harsh conditions that these squid live in in a tank. Based on the footage we've captured so far, the temperament of a big fin squid seems very peaceful. There's never been an incident thus far of one attacking the ROV or attacking someone. 
Reef compatibility is a yes. Temperatures this deep into the ocean range from 32 to 37 degrees, so it is freezing cold down there. DKH would be 8 to 12, pH would be 8.1 to 8.4, and salinity ranging around 1.035. Max size on most recorded footage has been calculated at 25 feet long by about 11 feet wide. Colors that you typically see on a big fin are going to be a brown to orange coloration. Big fin squids diets is still unknown, but typically cephalopods that are similar to the big fin, their diet's going to consist of prawns, crustaceans, and other fish that they can catch in their tentacles. Origin, of course, has been all over the oceans. They aren't really hosting one part of the ocean. They are everywhere, down deep below. For compatibility, it is really unknown. The footage we've gotten so far has not shown multiple specimens together. It has always been a singular squid in the shot. Now again, obviously you're never going to be able to keep one of these in a tank, but it's a lot of fun to kind of put it together whenever you're comparing one of these huge creatures to something as small as a clownfish. There are still so many unknowns about this unusual creature lurking deep in the ocean. With each recording we're finding, we learn just a little bit more about what they eat, who their predators are, what they look like as juveniles, and with more research is going to come new findings. Same goes for so many other deep ocean creatures swimming below. And that will conclude today's episode of All About. Hope everybody enjoyed this April Fool's twist. Maybe we should do some more deep ocean critters. I included all the references and links to the research I did and the videos I included. So thank you to all the writers, scientists, and ROV pilots that have gotten us this far. You can read more about their research in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a question down below in the comments for future reefers to see and learn from. And as always, stay safe, be kind, and I'll see y'all later.